let us look at how typically association rule mining algorithms are stated. All it says is suppose you have a database of transactions and a set of all items. We typically want to find out all rules of the type Y. There is a report of S and confidence C. So what this means is we should be able to find out only those which support a minimum percentage of S out of the total number of transactions and out of the ones which have X as a subset, Y is also present in C percentage of the total number of transactions with X. Already I told you, look at the example here, we suppose minimum support is 30% and 80% in this transaction where we're talking about containing T2 containing funny cheese, T3 oops, T4 containing paneer, chicken curd, T5 containing paneer, chicken clothes, curd milk, T6 containing chicken clothes, milk, T7 contains chicken milk and clothes. So if you see, if I want to do something like they are there in three out of seven. So three out of seven. Then if you took it from the Confidence perspective, if you take clothes implies milk and chicken, confidence becomes three out of three because all the three records which have clothes, milk, clothes also contain milk and chicken. So what are we seeing here? We're seeing that ultimately when we talk about millions of records which are coming from retail stores, the inherent advantage we have in following this kind of a description for and on doing this kind of analysis, we can find out that which are the most significant items which are being bought together in by shoppers across the whole store or for a single person you may look at across his shopping history and identify what he particularly purchases. So it, this kind of analysis can be done across either a single person or across multiple what we call stakeholder multiple purchasers in in a store